Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have a pen sized smart multimeter and it is uh, for me it's a new brand it's from my GVDI and uh, it arrived in my mailbox today. We already had email contact and it felt a little bit like a present because uh, today exactly today I signed up uh, to YouTube uh, two years ago so it's actually kind of a two-year celebration but uh, yeah serious videos came a month later so but this pen size and when I look at this and at the size I uh, it reminded me of something I used in school and I still have it and it is this one so this is about well probably 30 35 years old and what it has a button if the battery would be working you had a con continuity test and it has a plus and a minus for the polarity for DC and if it is AC both of the LEDs will uh, light up but we are now 35 years later and we have here the same type of meter but then it has 6000 counts and it can do a lot more so let's zoom in so here it is, nice box, open it, it has a manual and it has the second cable, so let's have a look, wow, it's almost the same size, and uh, that the 6000 counts, that was uh, impressive I must say, so let me take off the I did already put batteries inside because usually it doesn't come with batteries. Let's get the plug and the other plug just because it is this nice protective plugs because it has a rating of cat 3 for 600 volts. And if you want to measure, I just you can take a little bit off if you are on real high voltages. But if you just want to measure normal, you just take everything off. And then it looks a lot like the 35 year old meter. So indeed it reminded me a little bit about this very old pen multimeter. And it doesn't show the value, it just does AC and DC and then it will show you a plus or a minus there are two LEDs and with the button if the battery wasn't corroded I could have showed you that the light would go on if I push so that is one of the meters but then if I look at this one it has a it says now auto mode but I can just switch it over to you see four digits and it actually has 6000 counts and that is not necessarily very special I have here also a, a whole peak I will do a re another review about that one but this one I used when uh, when I was doing my electricity box downstairs because I changed from one phase to two three phase and it just has a whole function it has AC and DC volts ohms in a diode test and even a light and uh, so, but I come back to that one in another video. But now I have this little meter. It also has a light, but it has so many functions. It actually blew my mind a little bit. And there is one function I come back to later that I really was amazed about. So 6,000 counts, uh, DC volts up to 600. It has a Cat3 600 volts also for AC. And it has a resistant test also, up to 40 max even, continuity test. And it stops beeping if it is more than 50 ohms. It has even a capacitor test. I have not seen that ever on a pen multimeter. But this is of course the smart pen multimeter. And what else? We have a frequency test even in there. And it goes uh, from 40 Hz with 0 0.1 Hz. So that is the maximum scale. So let's say from 1 Hz 
up to four megahertz even. Wow. A capacity test. I'm amazed by that. But there was another option that I was amazed about, and that is the phase sequence. So if you have a three phase system, you can you can find out the direction of your of the generator that is applying the voltage in your house. Now in the end the energy plant is providing you with all the phases. So if you have a three phase system, you want to know maybe if it is a right or left turning. So and you have meters for that, but usually you have a four wire or a three wire system. But here it is a two wire system and it can find out the the direction if it's right turning or left turning. So uh, I will show that later in my own electricity box. Let's first see the basic function if the voltage is more or less uh, accurate or not. Well, with 6000 counts, I expect, uh, yeah, that's like, uh, what is it? Three and a half digits. So I expect a little bit uh, something good. Okay, the standards out. I have here my TMM checklist. And of course, my other favorite, the LBO 2 a and uh, this one does voltage, current, ohms, variable. This one has a fixed 5 volt DC and a fixed 5 volt AC. And it has a 1% uh, uh, capacitors and resistors. So we can play with that. I have here my uh, DC. What well, doesn't make too much sense. Let's just get proper value. Let's heat up a little bit, but yeah, for six and a half digits, I, I really want to have it running for half an hour, but now we have 6,000 counts, so it will be okay. Let's uh, switch it on. It uh, is in auto mode. Oh, it's upside down. It is in uh, auto mode. Just let, uh, let it fry. Put it here in my... Oh. Put it... And I don't know if you can read it, but it says 231.6 volts AC. That's about right. So let's put some DC volts. Let's put one volt. And let's see if it can find out it's DC. And if it is one volt, it does. It is a little high, but uh, not too much. And it is supposed to be 6,000. So let me go to 6 volts and then go up. Okay, we have 5.9. That should be able to display before it switches to the next range. It is again fractional high. It's quite normal for the Chinese meters, I find out. It's 4,000 counts and I'm wrong. Yes, it's 4,000 counts, sorry. No, 41,000, 4,100, two, no, and here it goes. So it's 4200 zero zero probably. Very nice. Yeah, that works. Okay. And we can do the ohms also. Uh, 20 ohms right now. Will it recognize it as ohms? Oh. Yes, it goes into continuity. It actually f thinks it is... Uh, 17 ohms, but this is emulated 40 and then it stops because it goes at 50. Yes. Okay. The, oh, 60 ohms. Now it starts to be more accurate. What if I do my ohms here on higher values? Okay. Just let's test with real resistors. This is 1K. And it says 99.4, 10K994, 
it's fast. It finds out very fast what it needs to measure. 992. Okay, let's do capacitors. Does it do that also automatic? Mm, I'm not sure if the value comes in this range. I think for capacitor we need to switch it over. Volts, AC, ohms, continuity, diet also. Hertz, none of that. Well, let's just see. Does it do that? This one is too low. Doesn't do it. Here we are. Ten. It says nine and a bit. One hundred nanos. And one or ten. What does it do? One, one, zero, oh, three, five. Okay, capacitors seem to work. Cool. Let's see on the faults. DC faults. This should. This is exactly five with a lot of zeros. And it is here 501. This is quite normal for Chinese standard somehow. Let's go to AC. Switch this over. And yes, 499. This is actually correct. On AC, it's a little bit lower. Okay, let's do a frequency test. Well, the electricity here in the Netherlands is pretty, pretty good. So 50 edge is 50 edge here. And, well, <laughs> it is. So no problems with the frequency measurements. So, and now I would like to go downstairs because of this option of the phase sequence. And then it will detect if it is a right turning or left turning. And I'm going to test it from left to right as you normally would do with your face one, two, three, and then it should be right turning. At least here in the Netherlands, that is the case. But then I'm also going to measure from left to right. So three, two, one. And this device will think, oh, he's doing one, two, three. Instead, I'm doing three, two, one. So then instead of saying right, it should say left. So that's kind of fun. Let's see what it will do. And I built this, uh, my electricity system here myself. And I used uh, this one, which I will review later with another uh, Chinese brand also. So uh, let's have a look downstairs. Well, uh, I have a three phase system. So I'm wondering what my sequence will be. Will it be right or will it be left? And if I uh, go from left to right or right to left, if it really says that the direction is the other way around. So um, let's just open it. And this famous last word were, no worries, I know what I'm doing. So let's just open this. Okay, let's see, I put it in the face direction mode. I will zoom in a little bit. So uh, we get our negative and then we get the first, and then we need to wait. For the next, for the beep, and it says it goes right. Let's try that again from the other way around. Now it should say left, and it does. Cool. That was actually quite impressive that you can do a phase sequence measurement with a two wire system. So it must have some sort of memory or something that it that it recalls the the first phase and then it with the second phase. Of course, you need to do the second phase. If you measure one, three, two, then it probably is very confused. But it it somehow because you do the correct order and it finds out the shift 
it knows if it's right or left turning. I think that is super smart. And and this thing is like 18 euros, so maybe less than 20 dollars. I like this option because this one can almost do the same. I, I don't even think it does frequency. And it, this one has 4,000 counts. And it can do with the two wire system. The sequence, a little bit impressed. So uh, GVDA, thank you for sending me this meter. I really thought, oh, they're gonna send me again this uh, low cost uh, multimeter. But I'm actually impressed. And I will say it again, this, this phase sequence measurement in this little meter, I'm, I'm really impressed. Well, if you if you think this product is something for you, of course, I will leave the item number below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.